Hello everybody and welcome to Hydraulic Master once again. Uh, today I'd actually like to go through how to program the Scanreco RC400. Now, just to be clear, when you receive this unit, it's normally in a condition where everybody can use it and it's suitable for most purposes. But as you use it for longer or as you use it, if you use it for a very specific use, it is possible to program the sensitivity of some of the functions. Uh, and that's what I'd like to show you how to do today. Now, just to explain, there are many different things you can actually program. The important thing for all of these is that the first thing you need to do is to put it into programming mode. So that's what I'm going to go through now. And then we're going to make separate videos for each of the things that you can actually adjust. So this first video now is just going to be programming mode. Um, if, you're, if you've already watched one of the other videos and thinking this is not working, it's because you need to watch this video first. Of course, I will reference the programming mode for ScanReco video at the start of each of the others. So let's get started. Now, within the, 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 the set, obviously, you get your central unit, you get the, the connecting cable, which you don't normally need to use except for, for programming. Of course, you get your ScanReco unit that you, you'll be familiar with. Um, and you do get instructions, so you get instructions on how to do this. And today in the video, I'm actually going to go through these line by line uh, and just talk through maybe anything we've seen or maybe it's not clear, just so you've really got a, a first-hand understanding of how to do this programming. So let's get started. So what's it telling me here? To enter programming mode, follow exactly these steps. And this is a really key word, uh, and I'll explain why as we go through it. So the first thing you need to do, remove the battery from the PCU. This is your PCU here. Battery, just push in the spring, just remove nicely like that. Second point is connect the serial cable between the PCU and the central unit. This is your serial cable that I mentioned. This is, of course, the, the central unit, so we'll just pop this in first. Feel it push in. That's it, gently tighten it in there. That's it, nice and firm. Okay, just do the other end here into the side of the, um, the PCU here. Just let me get my hand the other way around. Okay. Just twist it a few times and just push it in to make sure it's nice and, and snug in position. Okay, that's all good. Now, next step we've got here. Um, press the emergency stop button on the crane and on the PCU. Now, when it's talking about crane, that clearly can be any piece of equipment that you're using your ScanReco with. So make sure you put the emergency stop button on your equipment. And of course, the one here, the big red button, of course. Um, and then release the emergency stop button on the crane and on the PCU. So again, this is a really important step that you mustn't skip. So release your emergency stop on your crane. And again here, just by twisting it, making, that's pop, making sure that's popped up, okay? Then turn on the central unit in remote mode. If you look here, on your central unit, it's in the off position at the moment, which is in the middle. The down position, which is manual, is normally the position that you, uh, you can use uh, this unit in sometimes. But we want remote, which is actually slipping up. There's a little diagram there to explain that. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video. But we just move that into remote mode by lifting it up there. Now, this is something I believe has been skipped, and it's important that we, we mention it. At this point, you need to then put the battery back into this unit. Now, that is not mentioned in these instructions. The reason we know it's important is because in a moment, we're going to be looking for an LED light on here. That is never going to happen if there's no battery. So I've installed the battery at this stage. I believe that's the best stage to do it. Um, if you've got any comments on that, feel free to, to let us know. And I know uh, Scanreco and Faber, uh, you guys watch this video, feel free to, to feed back to us. Okay. So, as I explained, it says that we need to uh, hit the start on signal button uh, and then within five seconds do the, uh, the hair rabbit button. We need to knock it a few times. Now, what's important to stress here? In the instructions, it just says press it. Now, for me, that's press. But actually, you need to press it probably for a second and wait for the red LED and then straight after start hitting this to the right. So, let's see if you can see what I mean. LED. and then you get the tone, okay? So it's really important, press, wait for the light, then quickly do this. Now we get this constant tone. I hope you can hear that, so that's gonna keep repeating itself. Um, and now, 
Once we keep getting this, this long beeping sound, you are now in programming mode. Okay? I'm going to stop this video here because, as I said earlier, that's the first part of doing any of the programming. And then we'll make individual videos depending what you want to do for these different levels of programming within the instructions. As always, I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you in the next video depending what you're trying to program. Thanks very much. See you soon.